Hi everyone, this adventure is an exploration of a ghost town that has returned to life as a tourist attraction. There are many artifacts, antiques, and collectibles spread across this video as they are spread across the property. Some of the old cars are unusual builds and modified as one-of-a-kind vehicles that spark your imagination. Everything is a matter of perspective, and this place is a photographer's opportunity for a very unique shoot. In fact, the owners provide a place for weddings as well as group and night shoots. It costs one dollar to look around and about fifteen to twenty dollars for flying a drone or a photo shoot. In this video, I'm going to share its history for added value. We had lived in Las Vegas for many years before hearing about this ghost town. The area known as Nelson was originally called El Dorado in 1775 by the Spaniards who made the original discoveries of gold in the area that is now El Dorado Canyon. The town was the site of one of the first major gold strikes in Nevada and one of the biggest mining booms in state history. Gold and silver were discovered here around 1859. The rush to the canyon began in 1861. Several mining camps were established in the canyon and a steamboat landing at the mouth of the canyon on the Colorado River called Colorado City. In its heyday, the area established a reputation for being rough and lawless. During the American Civil War, deserters from both the Union and the Confederate armies would wander here, hoping that such an isolated location would be the last place military authorities would look for them. Among the early mines established was the notorious Takati Cup mine in the middle of the canyon. His screams over ownership, management, and labor disputes resulted in wanton killings so frequent as to be routine and ordinary. Despite the sinister reputation of the mine, it, along with others in the town, produced several million dollars of gold, silver, copper, and lead. The mines in the canyon were active from about 1858 until 1945. The community called Nelson was named for Charles Nelson, a camp leader who was slain in his home along with four other people in 1897 by a renegade Indian, Avot. Between 1901 and 1905, the San Pedro, Los Angeles, and Salt Lake Railroad was built across southern Nevada through Las Vegas to Daggett, California, where it connected with the AT and, and SF, and the complete Salt Lake Los Angeles line was opened in, on May 1st, 1905. This nearby railroad ended the need for steamboats at El Dorado Canyon. The landing and mill were abandoned. The town of Nelson was born near the head of the canyon nearest to the road to the railroad and the post office of El Dorado was closed on August 31st, 1907 and moved to Nelson. So Nelson's Landing is about five miles east of Nelson at the downstream end of El Dorado Canyon. It was a village and landing established on the Colorado River Reserve, Lake Mojave, where the canyon had its confluence with the lake. The wharf area of Nelson Landing was destroyed during a flash flood on September 14, 1974. I don't have much history on the family that purchased the land and brought it back to life as a tourist attraction. But I'm leaving it at that because we want to respect their privacy and to bring this property back to life as a tourist attraction. If you do have any comments, please
please add them in the comments below and we'll be happy to look into them for you. Check out their website in the link as well in the description. And thank you for watching our video.